got a net crate package and of course I saw the reveal a few days ago because I couldn't wait to see what they were going to have this month so but I really needed to touch it to see uh, what was I going to do with it and so I decided to make a hat but uh, uh, you lose a lot of heat through your head and your neck so hats and and the uh, cowls are very, of course, you know, you can see that I couldn't wait to start. Anyway, this, it comes with a booklet and they have ideas here. There's a crochet hat and they have a cowl and these are the colors. See, there's a cowl there and look at this color. Isn't that something? So this is the blue spruce and this is the clementine and they have the triple lux which is like a blue and they have the black cherry which is that one look at the colors they're so pretty that's the black cherry anyway it is 100 percent wool and it's chunky weight, it has 60 yards, 55 meters, and it weighs 100 grams. And they suggest needle size from 13 to 15. So you hand wash it and lay flat to dry when you want, when you need to wash it. And the Vida Lana yarns are made exclusively for knit crate. So look at how rich colors they're. They're very, very pretty. So we're going to start doing something. I'm making a hat, but a cow would look very nice with this too. So let's get to work. So I decided to make a hat and we're going to make it very simple, very easy, like for beginners. And uh, this, these are number 13 knitting needles, US knitting needles, which is a size 9 millimeters. Okay, so I cast it on 50 stitches, but I'm casting on an extra stitch with a long tail cast on because I need a multiple of 5 for the edge. It's, we're going to make the Latvian twist, and so the extra stitches because we need to sew the two sides together. So that's 51 stitches and we need three rows before we start our twist. So first row, purl. The second row, you knit. And the third row, you purl. And then I'll see you when I finish those three rows. Okay, so now I have my three rows, which is purl knit and purl so I have straight stitch on this side and I am going to begin my Latvian twist and it's going to go I'm going to knit three one two three I'm going to begin with three and end with three so I don't have a twist at the edge so I knit three and this is just the beginning you do that only at the beginning and then on take your left hand needle and bring it to the back like around and to the back and under and, and to the front and all the way up so you did a complete turn and then you're going to knit five one two three, four, and five. Okay, so let's do that again. So it's every five. It's three only at the beginning, but then it's five, and then twist. Bring your needle to the back, around, and then up again, and then knit five. One, two, three, four, five. And then these 
get twisted but that's why you can do the Latvian twist when you when you have a, a circular hat because they they get all twisted so this I have my five stitches and now let's do that again you take your left hand needle and around and then up again and knit five so I'll do the rest and I'll see you when I'm finishing this row. Okay, so I'm on my last twist and I have three stitches left. So I go to the back, around, and to the front. So now I'm going to knit those three stitches. There we go. Now I am going to make two rows of seed stitch and the way that is done is that you knit and purl, knit and purl and you do that for two rows, knit and purl and now I'll see you when I finish my two rows. So after the twist, I did one row of seat stitch, the second row of seat stitch, and this would be row number three. And what I'm going to do is row number three, you purl, row number four, you knit, number five, you purl, number six, you knit, number seven, you purl, and number eight, you knit. So I'll have all this written down anyway. So you do your straight stitch starting with a purl row because this is the wrong side. And once I'm done on row 8 I'll come back and tell you what's next. So what I have here is that I worked rows 1 to eight one time and then again rows one to eight another time and then I worked one rows one two and three and then on row four I'll tell you what to do next row four of this section I knitted 24 stitches and then knit it together and then I knit it to the last three stitches, knit two together, and then knit the last one because I need a multiple of six. So that gives me 48 and then that extra one that I need for sewing. So now I have 49 stitches. And then on the way back I purled. Now these are the, the decreased rows and let's start doing that. I am going to knit six, two, three, four, five, six and knit these two stitches together. So again knit six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and knit it together. And you do that the whole row, one, two, three, four, five, six, and knit two stitches together. And then on the way back, you purl next row you're going to knit five and two together and you do that the whole row one two three four five and knit two together and remember that the last stitch you knit one two three four, five, 
and knit these two stitches together and then on the way back you purl so what you already did knit four knit two together knit four knit two together the whole row knit the last one and then purl and now you already did the knit three knit two together the whole row and I purl to back and then I already did the knit two knit two together the whole row and I purled back so now I'm going to do knit one knit two together so I knit one knit two together knit one knit two together knit one knit two together see how nice these ridges are looking so knit one knit two together knit one knit two together knit one knit two together and I end with knit one now this will be our last row and it's going to be a purl row and on this one I want to purl the whole row two together so I go into each one of these two so get the two together purl two together and then again purl together again purl two together purl two together purl two together and purl two together and of course I have my edge stitch okay what I want to do now is leave a long tail long 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 I'm leaving about a yard and I'm going to cut my yarn put it through a blunt needle and I am going to pass this needle through the stitches from the other side so that I can close it nicely. So pass that yarn through. Now I can take it off my needle. And I have all my stitches there. Maybe I'll pass it again just to make sure that it's nicely closed and tighten it let's see it's nice and tight there nice and tight there okay so now I'll come to the wrong side and make a little knot somewhere hidden so let's like there Just so that it doesn't go away okay so now I'll put my yarn to the front so I can start sewing and I am going to sew from the top to the bottom and then I have a tail here that I can sew this part because I don't like to have knots on the edges so I'll sew from the bottom from the top to the bottom and then from the bottom to the top so from that knot to that knot see that's why I leave that extra stitch because it makes it a very nice finish 
so from that knot to the next and then from here to the next and then of course also from the bottom to the top let's see let's start this one also so I'll pass my yarn through and find the very edge and so that is it right there and I want to find the edge on this side also so there and now I can go from here to that knot and then go up and then they'll meet somewhere in around the middle or around here and then of course you pass your yarn to the inside and make a knot and that's it I'll come and show you what it looks like okay so I cut my yarn and made my knot there and let me show you how it looks let me see where the seam is. The seam is right in here. So right in there. So it's very important that it doesn't show. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe. And now see you next time.